in a in a Jerry Seinfeld kind of way. I have coffee out here in the evenings, mornings. This is my chair. <laughs> I I will tell you I'm in my garden room. Here's how you can tell where I'm at. <coughs> I bought this chair last winter. It's my first recliner. I figured at my age it was okay to buy a recliner. But it's not a regular recliner. It's smaller. has a fun color. Color coincides with my rug over here and my table. And I wanted to talk to you about my table. I'm so proud of this table. Uh, but first let me just back up, uh, step up or whatever handle my phone a little better. Uh, you can see through there if you're wondering where I am. <coughs> the garden shed out there and the fountain there and over there the the uh, the deck. There is my little table piled high with things. That's my next project. The dogs are there looking at me. I had to shut Mika in because she's a little crazy. I'll do what Colette does. She steps in front of a mirror sometimes before her videos. She's in Ireland to show me her latest outfit or us or her latest outfit and her weight loss. Here you see I'm in pajamas and a t-shirt. Okay, you don't get any better than that, do you? <laughs> anyway, oh God. Okay, so I'm unprepared, and I'm turning in circles, but I wanted to talk to you about this cool table. I, uh, I did not buy this table <laughs> this way. I bought this in 2009, sort of a patio set, you might say. Uh, but about three years later, the top was starting to warp. It was some sort of composite that did not do well in the heat that it gets out here plus it's cold in the winter and I just uh, decided to tear it apart and rebuild it. I had no real plan except to start on the outside with some color of tile and work my way in until I decided it was time to stop. It was just sort of an on-the-fly kind of thing and I went to Lowe's and bought different kinds of tile that appealed to me at the moment. Uh, in this case, it's mostly neutral and dark colors. Combination of slate, ceramic tile, porcelain tile, stones, and glass. Isn't it interesting, though? It was a big project and kind of a, uh, uh, what's the word, a risk. Uh, I didn't have any guarantee that it was going to work. Here in the center, uh, the, the, the center is wooden. It's a wood. It's a plywood. I have two of those. One is a different color. I also carved out a square in the center. Can I do this one-handed? These lift out so that I can replace it with a different kind. I have, I think, five choices to put there. And this comes out as well. Of course, the pebbles in the middle, I think, were the biggest problem. And they will upset your iced tea if you're not careful. They're, they're bumpy. I purposely left a little higher. These are rough as well. All of these fairly smooth. Notice how in this sort of necklace of slate glass combination I don't go perfect around the outside. I, I sort of alter it to fit the stones. See, are you able to see what I'm talking about? There's a long stretch that's normal. There it isn't. There I break the pattern. And so on. You don't notice that at first, but that's part of the fun. And around here, along the side, I created a sort of western belt style edging. That is actually just pegboard, cut to fit two inches maybe. And then I used the sort of uh, bright screws to hold it in. There you get the idea. I had a lot of fun doing this. This was a winter project and uh, it took a, a good month because I did just each section at a time. Under this is a new layer of 5 8 plywood. Over that is a layer of quarter inch concrete board. Rendering it 
excessively heavy. Over there, my big face. That's from Mexico. It's quite tall. And the deck out there. You've seen this, but now you have a little bit of perspective.